And before we get started, welcome back to another video on the SB Fitness channel, Spirit Minded Body. I want to change your mind today, bro. Your mentality is what carries you through these workouts. Your mentality is what carries you through this life. Your mentality is what carries you, your mind. Think about a person that's brain dead in a hospital. They're essentially dead. They can't respond because they don't have a brain. They don't have a mind. They don't have a mentality. They cannot see the world. So some people, family members, they pull the plug and they end up dying. They end up having to be relying on these machines because they have no brain. So therefore, if you have to rely on a machine instead of your brain, once your brain dies, then your brain has to be the thing that carries your whole body and your whole existence. So I want to tell you something, bro. If they not calling you crazy, bro, if they if if if, if you don't have haters, if, if people's not telling you, man, this nigga crazy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what he's been going through. But he, he don't, if you don't have people in your ear like that, if you don't hear those type of things about you, then you're not going hard enough. Your mind is not strong enough. The things that you say, you don't know enough. You're not doing enough, bro. They call me crazy, bro, for thinking like this, for walking like this, for talking like this, for talking to myself. They call me crazy. I look in the mirror and I talk to the man right there in front of me. They call me crazy for it. But this is what's going to carry you. You talking to yourself. You the one who know you, bro. Don't nobody on this earth know you like you know you. Besides God. And God does not dwell on earth. His spirit dwells on earth. Yes. Which is, you know, that's, that's kind of crazy to say. Because God is everywhere. So I take that back. I repent from that statement. As a matter of fact, I do believe the spirit of God dwells on earth. So therefore, if his spirit dwells here, then he dwells here because our spirit dwells here. So I'm not going to say God does not dwell on earth, but God is the unseen. Right. Let me just retract, retract that whole statement and let me make it better. God is just unseen. Right. But don't nobody know you better than you. God knows you better than you. But other than that, who knows you better than you know you? So therefore, you must talk to yourself. You got to be crazy, bro. See, some of the most craziest people on earth are the most genius people on earth. Some of the most craziest people on earth are some of the most successful people on earth. I know a lot of crazy people, bro. Real crazy people and they landed them in jail. Those are the crazy people, people who do things for the liking and the acceptance of humans. Those are crazy people, people who don't want to explore life and people who don't want to be better than themselves, people who don't want to control themselves, people who don't want to be anything in this life. Those are real crazy people. Me, I'm not crazy. I'm just getting started. I'm not crazy. I'm sane. But when the world calls you crazy, that's how you know you sane. I call the world crazy because the world is crazy. The world calls me crazy because I'm sane. When you gain your sanity, your mind, when you gain a, a better revelation and understanding of the world, that's when they call you crazy because you refuse to put up with uh, certain things. You refuse to do certain things and you refuse to do the things that you used to do bro so now you crazy because of it they call me crazy because i can fast and 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 restrict myself from food it's my mindset baby i control this being don't know food control me don't know nothing control me my stomach saying that it's hungry i say you 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 eat when i tell you to eat because i'm the one controlling this body my stomach don't control me. My urges don't control me. Nothing in this life control me but me. I control myself, and that's the spirit of God. When you read the Bible, the word of God tells you that he does not come to give us the spirit of fear, but of self-control and a sound mind. Self-control is a spirit from the Lord. And only, only few master it. Only few master the spirit of self-control. 
when you look at the world around you when you when and and because this is a fitness channel let's let's use certain fitness analogies when you're looking at an obese person do you think that that person wanted to be that way or they couldn't control themselves when you look at a cracked out a, a a homeless hobo person when you when you look at all these people in society do you think they wanted to be that way or they couldn't control themselves they couldn't control the addiction they couldn't control the urges See, see, fitness is more about controlling yourself because you gain a better mindset. Talking to yourself in the mirror, looking in the mirror, actually literally speaking to that reflection in the mirror. It, it, it helps you control yourself. All these things, I've done it. I remember coming from 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 the from the street life and, you know, being around my dad more and more. I would try to go back around him, you know. Just to try to restore a relationship that, that was never there. I would try to go around him. And, and he would just analyze me. And I, and I would hear him say these things behind my back. Like, man, he's crazy. He talks to himself in a mirror. <laughs> he would tell me, bro, you need to stop. Why why you fasting? Why you keep, you need to eat. Why you keep trying to fast? See, some of the things that I would do would just be unrecognizable to some people. Because I'm sane. See, what I'm doing in this life is I'm controlling myself self, step by step. When you hear me talking about semen retention, it's more about you than it is about her. It's more about getting, gaining control over yourself than it is anything in this life. Yeah, you definitely get the life force energy. Yes, you have more energy. Yes, you have better yes things get better more testosterone yes you can build muscle better but it's more about controlling yourself it's more about controlling the urges because if you don't control the flesh then the flesh will control you a lot of people is poor in this life and not poor physically financially but spiritually a lot of people are lacking in a lot of areas of their life because they don't control themselves so if you start doing the hard things and talking to yourself mentally and controlling yourself mentally, then you truly want this game. No amount of money can can pay for a mindset like this. No amount of money can pay for this mentality. The only thing that can get you this mentality is controlling yourself. You can get you this mentality. But you have to talk to yourself. You have to rule over yourself. You ask to, You have to ask God for the spirit of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of self-control. These are the things that you have to do. Then once, once again, the spirit is going, you know, the flesh will try to take over. The urges will try to take over. You'll start feeling your spirit getting weakened and listening to the urges just because you get tired of fighting. But it's not a fight. If you win it. It's not a fight if you win it. It's a victory. The fight is already won. It's not a fight. Just keep on controlling yourself. Just keep on telling yourself what to do. See, do you not know that you are made in the image and likeness of God? Meaning that you have dominion over everything on earth. Every living creature that crawls on his belly, that flies in, on the skies, that, that swims in the sea. Every living creature you have dominion over as a male leader in today's society because you are made in the image and likeness of God. But how can you have control over anything else on earth if you don't control yourself? Yourself. You start with you and then you'll see everything around you change. And then your situation will change financially. Then your situation will change physically, mentally, spiritually. But you got to control you first. And that's where it starts. Discipline. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Like, comment, and subscribe on these videos, bro. I'm dropping every single day. And sometimes I might go two times, three times, whatever times a day. We almost to a thousand subscribers at the time of this recording. By the end of this month of October, we will be at 600 subscribers, and I'm, I'm standing on that. 
I'm standing on that because I'm going to make sure it happens. I control myself. I control my future. I control my channel. I control everything, bro. Like, comment, and subscribe on these videos, bro. Show the love. Because when you do, when we get paid that first YouTube check, I will be giving back to my community and to the people who supported me. To the people who subscribed and show love. I'll be giving back. So, hit that subscribe button for a chance to enter the giveaway in the raffle. For a chance to win. That being said, Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, and I'm out. Peace.